we have already learned what a subject is and also we have learned about some of the rules that need to be followed related to subject verb agreement for example we have learned that a verb must agree with its subject in number and person so the basic rule is that the singular subjects need a singular verb whereas the plural subjects need a plural verb now we have also learned that uncountable nouns they take a singular verb always so today let us learn about some more rules related to subject verb agreement a lot of mangoes are lying there now in this sentence we see a lot of mangoes as our subject so we are referring to several mangoes hence we are using a plural verb are lying now if we say a lot of patience is needed to handle the baby now what do we see here the subject is a lot of patience and we have used a singular verb is needed now you must be wondering why is it so in both the cases what is common a lot of so in this case too we have used a lot of in this case too we have used a lot of but in one case we have used plural verb in the other case we have used a singular verb this is because in this case the noun mangoes refer to a countable noun whereas patience refers to uncountable noun so what do we learn we learn that in a subject containing the phrase a lot of we have to look at the noun that comes after the phrase a lot of if the noun is countable then we use a plural verb and if the noun is uncountable we use a singular verb here patience being uncountable we have used singular verb is needed here mangoes being countable we have used the plural verb are lying none of his words were true here were is the plural verb and none of his words is the subject of the sentence now let us look at another sentence all of my work was over now you must be wondering that none means nothing for that we have used plural verb and for all which means everything we are using a singular verb so in this first case you note the noun that has been used after none of is words which is a countable noun so words being a countable noun we have used a plural verb but in this case look at this noun work work is an uncountable noun so even if we use the word all our verb will still be singular because work denotes an uncountable noun none of the children were happy now here none of the children so here we have used the plural verb and in this case none of the jewelry was found in the locker we have used was so what is the difference once again you see in both these cases none of the is common now children refers to countable noun so we have used were jewelry is an uncountable noun hence we have used a singular verb was so what do we understand with words like none of the all of the lots of it's important to look at the noun that comes after those phrases if they are uncountable we need to put a singular verb if they are countable we need to put a plural verb all the children are happy in this case all the children is our subject which is a plural subject are is a plural verb now all the luggage is packed in this case all the luggage is singular is is also singular now once again you note children refers to countable noun accordingly we have used a plural verb and luggage is an uncountable noun so we have used singular verb so just because we have used a countable noun the verb becomes plural and here just because we have used an uncountable noun our verb becomes singular some of the books are really very helpful now in this case some of the books so once again books is a countable noun so we have used the plural verb 
But if we say sum of my homework is not yet done, what do we see? Homework. Is it a countable noun? No. Homework is an uncountable noun. Hence, we have used a singular verb. So, even though I am saying sum, it will not change the verb. Even with sum of my homework, my verb still remains singular. Most of the students dash the answer of this question. Now, in this case, what will you say? Will it be no or no's? Now, here, what do we see? Most of the students, this entire part is the subject. Now, in this subject, what do we see? Most of the, then we have the noun students. Now, students is a countable noun. Hence, the verb to be used should be plural. So, the plural verb of no is no. So, the answer would be most of the students know the answer of this question. So, remember whenever you have such phrases as in most of the, some of the, lots of, all the, none of the and so on, you need to look at the noun in order to determine the verb, whether it should be singular or plural. Half of the students in the hostel have fallen sick. Now, in this case, what do we see? Half of the students. Now, students refers to countable noun. So, we have used have fallen. Now, if I say half of the population is below the poverty line. So, in this case, population is an uncountable noun. So, we have used a singular verb. So, once again, you see half of the is denoting a quantity. After that, what do we have? The noun students and the noun population. One is a countable noun, the other is an uncountable noun. So, with countable noun, we have used a plural verb. With uncountable noun, we have used a singular verb. Only 10% of the workers have turned up. Now, in this case, what is the noun? The workers. Before that, what do we have? Only 10% of. So, once again, it is denoting a quantity. Now, here we have used have turned up. That is a plural verb. Why? Because workers is a countable noun. But if I say only 10% of the rice has been sold till now. Now, in this case, rice is an uncountable noun. So, after that, we need a singular verb. A large number of letters have been dispatched. Now, in this case, what do we see? A large number of is denoting a quantity. After that, the noun that we have is letters, which is a countable noun. Accordingly, we have used have been dispatched, which is a plural verb. But when I say a large amount of garbage has accumulated on the beach, in this case, what do we see? That a large amount of is followed by an uncountable noun that is garbage. Henceforth, we have used a singular verb after it. So, in all these cases, you see that the verb is determined by the noun, whether it is a countable noun or an uncountable noun. Now, look at this example. Two thirds of the pastry dash eaten. What would be used? is or are. Now, in this case, the noun is a countable noun. Of course, we can count pastry. But what else do we notice? We see here is a quantity, two-thirds of the pastry. But here, pastry is a singular noun. We are not talking about many pastries. We are talking about a portion of a single pastry. As such, we are not going to use a plural verb. Part of a single unit will always be less than one and hence we are going to use a singular verb. So, the correct sentence is two-thirds of the pastry is eaten. Now, if I say two-thirds of the glasses 
dash broken. So what are we going to say here? Are we going to use is or are? Now in this case, what do we see? Once again, the noun is countable. But we have a plural noun. Glasses in this case. Therefore, we are going to use a plural verb with it. So it should be are. So what do we see? Two thirds of the glasses are broken, whereas two thirds of the pastry is eaten. Earlier we have learned that when we have a subject having a quantifier along with a countable noun, we always use a plural verb. But here we further learn that if that countable noun is in singular number in the phrase, then the verb will be singular. If the countable noun is plural, then only the verb will be plural. So it is not only important to identify whether the noun that is used after quantifiers like this is countable or not, but it is also important to note that if the noun is countable, whether it is singular or plural. If it is singular countable noun, we need a singular verb. If it is a plural countable noun, we use a plural verb. And for uncountable nouns, we always use a singular verb. One tenth of the village is literate. So here as well you see, village is a countable noun. But we have talked about one village. It's only village. So we are talking about a part of a whole unit. Therefore it is singular and accordingly we have used a singular verb is. But when we say one tenth of the people in the village, then we use are. So the sentence is one tenth of the people in the village are literate. Why? Because people is a countable noun and also in plural number. So accordingly we have used a plural verb. Remember in this case Village is not the noun to be taken into consideration. Here, the verb is determined by the noun people. In this case, the noun to be considered for the subject verb agreement is village. Now, fill in the blanks using is or are. The sentences are, there dash some milk in the house. More dash required. And the second one, there dash some potatoes in the house, more dash needed. So let us take up one by one. First thing, there dash some milk in the house. Now, what is the subject in this case? It is some milk. Now milk is an uncountable noun. So with uncountable nouns we know we always need a singular verb. So our answer would be? There is some milk in the house. So remember, don't get confused by seeing this particular adjective some. Even if uncountable nouns take such quantifiers like some before them, they are still treated as singular. So we have there is some milk in the house. More dash required. Now what is this more qualifying? It is referring to the milk. So more milk dash required. So instead of writing milk once again we have used more as the subject in this case. So with this more we need another singular verb. So more is required. There is some milk in the house. More is required. Now let us come to the second example. There are some potatoes in the house. Now in this case the subject is some potatoes. Potatoes is a plural noun, so we need a plural verb, so we use are. There are some potatoes in the house. Now in the second sentence, what do we have? More dash needed. So what is this more qualifying? This is actually referring to potatoes. So more will be considered as plural, so we need to put are in this case. So what do we see? Here milk was uncountable 
so we have used is here potatoes is a countable noun so we have used are similarly here more is referring to an uncountable noun hence we have used is here more is referring to a countable noun so we have used are so today we have learned about some more rules related to subject verb agreement and all of them deal with countable and uncountable nouns what are the rules in most cases we have seen that with countable nouns we usually use plural verbs with uncountable nouns we use a singular verb if we want to show a part of a whole in case of a countable noun then we need to use a singular verb but if we are referring to countable nouns in plural numbers then we are using a plural verb to understand this better you need to go through more examples like these and also practice as much as possible we will learn about some more rules related to subject verb agreement very soon don't forget to subscribe to our channel you can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the delta step app to get all learning resources as per icsc cbsc ib cambridge or any other curriculum over 5000 amazing lectures across maths science english and social science our unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged and our i dictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions get instant answers and detailed solutions be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests performance analysis along with actionable feedback personal tutors to resolve your slightest of doubts that's not all you can also win amazing prizes like playstation ipad watches and many more along with certificates through our earn as you learn program so at delta step learning is not just fun and easy it is rewarding too so register for free now